you guys to see him across that little thing here with your tip of the week. Just going to deconstruct a, a relatively simple movement that we use a lot in the gym, uh, slam ball. Um, these are rubber balls filled with sand. They come in different poundages. This is a tool I think that is very easy for people to use at home, very non-threatening, highly unlikely that you'll injure yourself using this. So I thought it would be a good topic for uh, the tip of the week. Basically, what I wanted to emphasize today was that uh, the most important thing when you're slamming the ball is uh, a good squat. So sometimes we, we see that when people get tired or when they fatigue and they're slamming the ball, they get in this body position where their head is down, their ass is up, their back is round, they'll pick it up, hunch over, and be here. It's doable, and, and there's a good chance they won't injure themselves, but one of the primary problems with that, I think, is that you're not repetitively practicing the mechanics of a good squat. And that's a, a skill or a movement that is important to master in functional strength and conditioning. So if at the same time that I'm trying to develop my squat and refine my squatting mechanics, I don't want to do 75 reps in a workout where I have an opportunity to do a squat or that is squat-based, and I end up doing basically a, a really poor squat. So we really work with everyone on not only getting full extension at the top and reaching high, but turning this movement into a good squat. Weight is in the heels, knees are tracking over the top of the feet, torso is vertical. It literally resembles an air squat, receiving at the bottom of a squat clean or a squat snatch, or so many other movements that we do in there. And that way when you're doing slam ball, you're doing it correctly, and that squatting position you're getting practice repetitively setting a correct movement and it's going to transfer for your other movements like Olympic lifting, wall ball, whatever. So again, then the whole movement would go from being something like this to each rep I'm practicing good squat mechanics. And then if I move over to another movement or on a different day, perhaps I'm squat cleaning, the reception at the bottom of the squat clean looks exactly like all of those repetitions I practice with the slam ball. I think that will give you better mechanics, it will be a better practice for your training, and it will be more transferable between all the movements that you're doing. That's it guys, hope that helps. Have a good one.